trying uh, this differently this time. Uh, like how the trick or treat was, where I just like unbox it like this. I'm not doing that. I will flip the camera. But yeah, the Amazing Spider-Man got here. I haven't seen this movie in like since what, like 2013, something like that. Because it, it, this one came out in um, 2012, I believe. So we're going to open this. Um, yes, I've th today. Um, you are getting the. Uh, Resurrection of you where I go on a tangent, but I recorded that last night um, Also because I recorded that on Thanksgiving I record, record this the day it comes out or maybe this will this will come out later tonight um, But yeah, uh, let's get into it. I'm gonna flip the camera. All right, so right here. We have the package itself uh, Kind of a close shot. I know so I'm gonna fix it. All, right. All right, now the shot isn't Open her up. I only knocked off that camera in my ball skin, so that hurt. But here we go. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man. Um, I actually am excited to watch this again. Uh, I remember it being, I remember it being actually pretty good. Like, not on the level as, like, uh, the Sam Raimi verse 2. Or, like, the Far From, or Far From Home. But, I just remember this being about middle of the pack. There's like an interference, but let's let's open it. Um, but yeah, um, I think Andrew, there's going to be a third one, but then the negative reaction to Mason's Roman Two, they canned it for some reason that I don't completely still understand. Like, I mean they. Cause I think Sony, like, every two or three years has to make a movie or or the rights go back. So that's kind of why it was kind of, re it was rebooted. Also because Spider-Man 3 wasn't received well. So I have a feeling that if, like, one Tom Holland's isn't received well, it's just going to can him and go with, like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. But Magic Spider-Man, uh, there's the back of it. Got Peter. It says the best Spider-Man yet. A teenage social outcast, Peter Parker, spends his days trying to unravel the mystery of his own past with his heart of his high school crush, Gwen Stacy. A mysterious briefcase belonging to his father, who abandoned him when he was a child, leads Peter to his dad's former partner, Doctor Connors. The discovery of his father's secret ultimately shapes the, the destiny of becoming Spider-Man, and bring him face to face. With Connor's villain, villainous alter ego, the Lizard. There's some special features here. You got some deleted scenes. Audio commentary with Mark Webb, Avia Rod, and Matt Tomac. Hope I said that right. Then we got stunt rehearsals. And then Oscorp Ar Archives Production Art Gallery. So, so it does seem like you get a lot. I mean, this was only like four ninety nine. I only had $5. dollars so I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll get that. The Blu-ray is like 10 You got some scenes of the movie in here. There's the Lizard. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's open her up. Oh, there's a spine for all you people that like the spines. Oh, I think that's cool right there, actually. This is going to look good on my shelf. We do get disc art. All right. Um, so pretty kind of generic disc art that has, um, Gwen and Peter, but overall, great. Um, expect a review in like about a month or something like that. Because cause a part of me just wants to go full on reviewing the rest of Halloween. But I'm not going to. But yeah, expect this sometime like mid to late December. Mid December at like the earliest. And yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you can get this on Amazon for like four ninety nine. So this isn't coming up till tonight. But I'm recording this in the morning. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.